Okay, so this is going to be the live lineup build at 640. Again, you guys aren't going to be able to probably do much with this, but um, again, I'd like to document the process here each night. So we just updated the projections and we are now going to upload them. Um, now we're going to uncheck exclude unlisted players in case we left off someone who was projected. That's a little, uh, you guys probably don't need to do that, but I do. Um, now 150 max, we're going to use that as our primary setting. And this is build five, we'll remember it. And then we're going to go to FanDuel. We'll do the same thing over here. Um, now Toronto still looks like it is not um, put their lineup out, but okay, that'll be part of the late swap, I, I guess. So we'll put these in here. Again, we are, we're going to uncheck exclude unlisted players and we'll do the same thing. We'll play 150 and we're going to keep these settings the same and then we're going to build 5,000 this way. And, you know, kudos to draft to, to Saberson to be able to do this kind of simultaneously. And we have 640, plenty of time. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do this in 20 minutes. Probably shouldn't be able to, probably should be able to do it in five, but 10 minutes is, uh, 20 minutes should be plenty, 10 minutes for each site. So here's DraftKings is populating. Okay, so, and again, we really don't care who we have. It's not even the point of this. Um, so first things first, let's uh, run the Sims. And we have these already set. So Mega 8s, we're going to keep that as high stakes MME. Single entry, keep that as SSE. Uh, knuckleball, we could go to low stakes, but we're going to keep that at... Uh, Flagship for now and batter's eye. We're gonna. This is, all looks really, really good. So we're gonna run the contest sends, and we can do that simultaneously. I don't want to waste time here, but we have plenty of time, I believe. Um, but while this is going on, we might as well do that for Fanduel as well, right? We don't want to spend too much time doing nothing. Okay. So again, same thing. Contest settings. Uh, um, contest settings. The rally is low stakes MME, which is good. Single entry, high stakes, which is good. Grand slam, mid, mid stakes, 20 max, which is good. The monster, I changed that to high stakes MME. That's good. Run those sims as well. So we're at, just remember, we're at build five. Now we could change the names of those if we want. All right, so we're going to do the, um, the, uh, the knuckleball first, the 150. And we are still going to keep storing my risk adjusted ROI. I mean, I know that people are are starting to move off of this, but I, I, I haven't investigated it yet. So we're going to continue to do it this way. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to go into stack exposure. We're going to take out these Bow Wow st stocks of non five stacks of non five mans. We're going to keep the four fours. But aside from that, everything else is going to be a five man stack. Uh, and we take this out just because we feel like it. I get, I don't think Saberson or any site really has mastered this correlation quite efficiently yet. Um, so let's, uh, next thing we do is we go to this aggregate ownership thing and we're going to sort these by, uh, by average, uh, projected score. This way, when we make our changes, we could see how much each change impacts this. So right now it's 99.62. So we're going to make more min uniques until this number drops by some amount. I'm guessing a point is going to be my, my, my squeal point right now. So 99.4, 99.5 I actually went up, which is interesting. And then this one, it's down to 98.4. So that's a full point off. So min uniques four is going to be the, the magic number. Okay, and we'll go back and re take out these Bow Wow stocks, uh, uh, stacks, and we're going to then save these to the knuckleball thusly. Okay, all right, then we're going to go to the um, uh, the mega eights, and what we're going to do with the mega eights, we don't need to do min uniques four anymore, but I do want to do min uniques two this way. What we can do is I want to play. Uh, well, let's just do the mega eights here. That's fine. I was going to say that I don't want to play the same, the same lineup in the knuckleball as the mega eights, but I don't really care too much if that happens. So here, and then we'll go to the single entry, which is over here. The, that's the batter's eye. No, the battery is the single entry. 
And you could go min uniques too, because it doesn't matter. We're just putting in the top lineup anyway. It doesn't really matter what you put here. But here, when you go into the batter's eye and you're doing multiples, I think it's good to keep this min uniques at least two. But we could go up to it. Let's go min uniques four again. Why not, right? I think it's the same idea. So let's go batter's eye and here. And then we look at green. That means all the guys that are projected are in. And we are off. Now, again, have we looked and seen we have? No. And that's the way I like it for reasons that I've described. My biases really just kind of get in the way. And we don't really care. And it also keeps DraftKings happy because I'm not showing you guys exactly who I have. All right. So now let's do the same thing with FanDuel. Uh, we... Uh, we did all this, right? We, we did all this, low, low stakes MME. We did all this and we ran the Sims. So same thing. Let's go first with the rally. And there's 150 entries. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to, um, uh, first of all, get rid of the Bow Wow stacks here, which are, you know, basically non four threes or four fours. I have time. Oh, plenty of time. So we will get rid of all of these. Um, get rid of this 3-2. And then again, this aggregate uh, projection thing, average uh, projected score, save, and it's 126.36, so we're going to keep on going uh, down until we lose, I guess, a point, maybe two points. So 125.99, that's almost, that's a full point. And this one is... Uh, let's see. This is an, another full point. Let's see what going to five does. That's really big. All right, so let's take what that one out, and we'll go min uniques four, and we'll put those in the rally. Okay, then we'll go to the grand slam next. Uh, min uniques two should be okay, just for the five over there. Let's just make sure there's that oh, we snuck in a little snuck in a bow wow stack here. Okay, we got time. Oh, plenty of time. Grand slam, put that in, and then the two big ones. Um, we could actually move this to the top. How oh, how do you do that? I saw him do that. Now I couldn't. Man, how do you how do you drag this to the top? I will right, we'll do it later. Uh, but I saw him do that in, in the demo, and then I uh and then I forgot how we did it. All right. So let's put the uh the monster and then we'll go to the keystone, which is a single entry. We will definitely experiment with that in a second. I'm mean, not not today, but to how to drag that to the top. And here's that, and we should be all good to go. Now, important to note is that there's a good big late swap window from like 8.10 to 9.40. So maybe I'll come back at 9 o'clock and show, and show how we do that. Uh, but until then, we should be, we should be done. Um, so we'll put this, and we'll put this in here. And boom. Edit 157 entries. And that is done. So we're good. Let me go back. Let me see if we can figure out how, how do you drag this to the top? I could have sworn that when you save the contest, can you, ooh, like this way maybe? Yep. Ah, beautiful. All right. So now I know for the future. Excellent. That little, this little square guy. All right. Very good. Uh, good luck, everybody. And maybe we'll come back for a late swap thing a little bit later.